Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In this episode of CDH, we tried some of our own home brews and, or commanders that we don't really see that often. We did make a couple play mistakes, but uh, this way you get to know that you're just better at playing the game than us. If you'd like to see more CDH content from us, let us know by smashing the like button and consider sharing these videos. We are about halfway through our big channel giveaway, where I've gathered about $5,000 worth of sealed Magic the Gathering product over the last few years, and I'm sharing it with you. We will have 25 winners, and all you have to do is go to www.kingdoms.tv slash giveaway, and there's a bunch of ways to enter. I'd love for you to do so, and I hope you win. Last of all, we are having our first Kingdoms game night over on our Discord channel. Any level of patron can join, and we're going to do this each month moving forward. So come play with us. It'll be a lot of fun. With that, let's check out the decks we'll be playing and our starting hands for today's game. First, we have John S. playing Animar Soul of Elements. This deck wants to take advantage of Animar's ability by playing a bunch of creatures and then comboing off with Ancestral Statue or Cloudstone Curio. John's starting hand includes Birds of Paradise, Utopia Sprawl, Weird Harvest, Flooded Strand, Waterlogged Grove, Wooded Foothills, and Gemstone Caverns Mulligan to the bottom. Second, we have Jason playing Muldrotha the Gravetide. This deck looks to control the board and get value from Muldrotha until it can put together a Thorical win. Jason's starting hand includes Aether Spellbomb, Carpet of Flowers, Intuition, Command Tower, Tropical Island, Waterlog Grove, and Nezahal Primal Tide Mulligan to the bottom. Third, we have Ben playing Clothis, God of Destiny. This deck wants to blow up everyone's lands with Clothis on the board to break parity and then combo win with Kiki Jiki. Ben's starting hand includes Gaia's Will, Red Elemental Blast, Bloom Tender, Tybalt's Trickery, Elvish Spirit Guide, Leyline of Abundance, and Stomping Ground. Fourth, we have Carlos playing Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and Kadama of the East Tree. This deck wants to play some stacks pieces until Sakashima can come out as a copy of Kadama and then combo win with a number of utility lands. Carlos' starting hand includes Jeweled Lotus, Wild Growth, Trade Routes, Oracle of Moldaya, Verdant Catacombs, Snow Covered Forest, and a Forest. With that, let's play some Magic. I did have a pregame. Oh, okay. Uh, Leyline of Abundance. Turn one, draw. I'll play and crack a Flooded Strand. Actually take my damage first. Go ahead and search for a Tropical Island. And then I will cast Utopia Sprawl on red. My turn. Draw, play a Command Tower, cast Carpet of Flowers. Thank you, John. Second main phase, I will add a blue mana to my mana pool and cast Aether Spell Bomb. Pass the turn. Off turn, I will will shock in a stomping ground two life for that and then i will exile elvish spirit guide at a green mana Whoa. i'll tap for another green and play bloom tender pass the turn draw for turn i'm gonna verdant catacombs and brackets get a tropical island look at that white bordered abomination i had to decide between proxy or i only play alpha <laughs> dual lens. that's why i don't your, play your 2010 dual. toyota camry in a sleeve <laughs> yeah <laughs> I will wild growth on this tropical island. Last turn. Untap and draw. Waterlogged grove. Take one and cast Animar. I'm done. Uh, keep draw. I'll target John with my carpet and add blue mana to my mana pool. Play my own tropical island because that's just what the cool kids do, right? Oh, I'm sad. I'll cast intuition. You can do it, Ben. You can deceive the tropical island. Oh, yeah, dude, I should. And then, John, you get to choose one of these cards, and I get to put it into my hand. <laughs> and then the rest go into my graveyard. You can have Sidisi in your hand. Go ahead. Untap and draw for turn. I will play a Spire Garden. It'll come in untapped. And wow. I will tap Bloom Tender for one plus one. And then here's the red. And I'll attempt to cast Lothus. Resolves. This may be a little ambitious, but I'm going to suspend guy as well comes in with four suspend counters on it pass the turn draw a, a snow covered forest play a jeweled lotus i'll crack it and asked kodama i'm pretty happy about a second turn kodama i'll pass the turn okay. draw as uh, so i'll pay a life for a birds of paradise and counter on animar and then i will pay two life and two mana and play a frexy metamorph <laughs> and I would like a Kadama. So then I'll play a Verdant Catacombs, which will trigger and get me a Wooded Foothills. I will pass the turn. 
draw. I'll add a black with my carpet. Make a green, play birds, use the black. Tap that for a green, cast life from the loam. Return all the lands in my graveyard to my hand, and then I will play Watery Grave, and I'll shock it in. Then I will pass the turn. So we got some Budama drama. Upkeep, my suspend trigger will go down to three, draw for turn, and then it's my beginning of my pre-combat main phase. So I'm going to exile a card from a graveyard, and yeah, I... <laughs> it's a land! I think it's like it's more like this, like... <laughs> I will exile your Lion's Eye Diamond, and that will deal two damage to all of my opponents, and I will gain two life. I am actually going to pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn, tap three, or Crucible of Worlds. If, yeah. Assuming that resolves, it will trigger Kodama's ability. I guess I'll put a Trade Routes in play. And then I will play a land for turn, Verdant Catacombs. That will trigger Kadama. I'll put a forest into play. I'm pretty scared of just John combo winning. So John, attacking you for six. 27. Minus one life. I'm going to get a breeding pool. Take the shock. Take another two. I'm going to pay a green and a blue in my pool. Use a blue to bounce this forest to my hand. And then I'm going to cast Burgeoning. In response to your Burgeoning, I'll crack my fetches. Volcanic Ketria Triome. Kadama Trigger will go off. I will put something that costs equal or less, which is this forest. Uh, John, your turn. Tapping a blue, cracking my spirit bomb. I'm going to bounce Animar. He's bounced. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast a Cloudstone Curio. Are you going to Kadama? Cloudstone Curio, Dama. I'll put in Animar. Oh, wait, I thought Curio only cost three. Kadama's equal to. <laughs> equal to? Why did I? Oh, my gosh. Kadama, e everyone always forgets that. You done, John? Um, yeah, go for it. Untap, a dredge loam. One, two, three. It was Misty Rainforest, Polluted Delta, and Imperial Seal. I'll add three black mana through carpet, and then I will cast my commander. I'll play land for turn, and I'll go ahead and crack it, paying a life. I'll get an island, tap my blue, and cast a Aether Spellbomb. Pass the turn. Upkeep. Take down my suspend counters here. I'll drop for turn. I'm going to go with animate the head. Okay. I'll gain two life. Everyone else will lose two life. Pass the turn. Drop for turn. A the Verdant. And I'll put a forest into play. Attempting Sakashima on the stack. Not in play. I'll make a blue. Bounce Kadama to your hand. Oh, Ooh. that's the play. Oh, yeah. You should do that for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. With that on the stack, I think we're in catacombs. And go get a special forest. You're yeah. getting a gingerbread cabin. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. Gingerbread cabin comes into play. I control three other forests. So it will untap and... Create a food token. I could go for some gingerbread right now. Magic makes me want to stress eat. I always want a snack when I play magic. Luckily, the desire to have very clean magic cards is, is much stronger, but. Yeah. Kadama will trigger twice. I'll then bounce gingerbread cabin mm -hmm. and then put it into play with one of the triggers. It'll make a food token. So I think I get infinite food right here. Oh, but because you're tapping with trade routes, right? If, yeah, if exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Kodama and trade routes. So I'm using... Infinite food, not infinite mana. I have two triggers. I bounce it to my hand. I go down to one trigger. I play it off of the trigger. So this doesn't trigger Kodama, but the food does. So then I bounce it, and then the food... Yeah, so I don't think I get infinite mana. I need... I would need both out. I would get infinite green if I had both out, but I just get infinite food right now, which is the funkiest thing to ever have. We're um, gonna change the name of your deck to uh, Thanksgiving dinner. How fitting, since we were just talking about food as well. Okay, so, and I end up with one trigger always on the stack. Feeling like Ben right now, if I just had one more mana. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. So, Kadama's in my hand. Sakashima comes into play. 
These triggers go away. That is all. Pass the turn. Yeah, the question is, who's going to cast Dockside for infinite treasure? Draw for turn. I'm going to cast a weird harvest, X2. D does it resolve? No. Oh, it just searches for a creature, and it'll be Dockside. Uh, each of yeah. us can search for two creatures. We all get two oh, creatures. Oh, two creatures. Yeah, we all get two creatures. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, counter that crap. Ooh, yeah, Tibalt's trickery? What? Yes, so much better. <laughs> no way. If it's coming out, they're going to win that turn because it's just too much. So, I, so yeah. this is going to get countered. Now, roll a D3. Yeah, one, two, three at random. I'm going to roll the dice. By the way, I'll have one green mana. Yeah. yeah. So this is weird, maybe, but I'll do one, two is one, three, four is two. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So this is actually a one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually a six. Sorry. <laughs> Show me the rest of the number. This is a legit company. They just, for whatever reason, they did it backwards from everybody else. Exile three you cards. Mill, mill three. Mill three. So, Rejuvenating Springs, Cradle, Eternal Witness. Excellent. Milled. All right. So now I flip until I hit a non-land card. With a different yeah. name. Yep. It's Commander, dude. Yeah. Okay. And then you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> uh. That was hey. great, Ben. Thank you. That's actually I the first time I cast that spell, so that was awesome. All right, I'll pay a life, crack, lotus petal. I'll cast a Rhystic Study. Is that going to get countered by Jason? I would love to, but I can't. Should that be countered? Yes. Mm. Really? Don't, don't you. Yeah, I feel like I got to do everything around here. <laughs> yeah. uh, why is, why uh, is the red-green deck countering all the spells? I, he's he's control gruel. If you think I'm a red-green player, I'm really a blue player at heart this whole time. You've never played blue, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know. Go ahead, Jay. Okay, great. Draw with carpet. I can add three mana. It's going to be black. I don't really know why I have a billion food anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very CDH of me. I think a billion of anything is pretty cool. Play Gaia's Cradle is my land for turn. I will tap these two lands, use my three black mana, and I'm going to cast Sidisi, the undead vizier. She that. enters the battlefield. She exploits herself. And I get to search my library for a card. Put it into my hand. Good. Okay, got my magic card. And then cast a creature from my graveyard with Muldrotha. And, uh, oh no, it's Sidisi. So I could have tapped Cradle in before she died the first time and had an extra mana. I don't think it'll matter, but I will oh, be very- will. I will, I guarantee it. The old yeah. one mana. Uh, <laughs> it, it, isn't it? There we go. I'm gonna shuffle and pass the turn. All right, I will now everyone's gonna all gang up on Jason now that he's DT'd twice, right? No. Yes, yes. All right, his will's no. going down. Ben's just going to blow up our lads and then Jason will just get them all back. Drop turn. So I got to do Clothis. He can yeah. cast every turn? He can For cast sure. multiple times. I'm assuming you're going to target that. For sure. <laughs> so I'll gain two. Everyone else will lose two. Pass the turn. I'll uh, gain some life in a turn. I'm not even going to touch that dice. Gaining three. Um, I'm also going to bounce this gingerbread cabin to my hand. Draw for turn. Also, what is this pod that has all these creatures and no one attacks? <laughs> Ben's uh, done so much damage with his control deck, okay? Wanted to get Oracle Moldaya off of this Nakashima trigger. Ox Diamond on top. Play Verdant Catacombs. Sack it. Life. Who gets a Forest. And how many cards do oh you have here? Is Cradle. I will play that. I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Gemstone Caverns. Oh. Yeah, here we um. go, Burgeoning. Here we go, Burgeoning. Waterlog Grove. Kadama on the stack. I will crack Waterlog Grove. Waterlog draw Grove. Card. I'm going to cast a Green Sun Zenith with X equals two. Oh, so that means it's uh, an oof. He makes oof. it so I can't use my food. <laughs> or a destiny spinner. I will go get. Uh oh, he sounded real happy about it. I got a den protector. What, what? is that? Hey, don't hide it. Let me see it. <laughs> I have some triggers on the stack. It comes straight into play. Well, I have to curio bounce the bird. To, I'm not going to put the bird into play for Kadama. I am just going to cast the bird to get a counter on Animar and bounce Den Protector. And I will attack Ben with my Kadama. Yeah, you're the I one that should have been attacking. What the heck? I got a 6-6 six, six this whole time. I will pick 6 all the way down to 38. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, Keep. 
draw, carpet trigger. The number is still three, right, John? Uh, yeah. I'll make a three blue mana. I will use one of that to cast an artifact out of my graveyard. Play my land for turn. Be polluted delta. Then I'll use the two blue to cast Thassa's Oracle. May uh, I'll hold in priority. I'm gonna cast go Demonic Consultation. I'm gonna mana drain the Demonic Consultation. Okay. Pass the Oracle trigger. Get a look at the top yeah. three cards. I'm gonna it tap Cradle for hand. three, using one of that to sacrifice Spell Bomb and to draw a card. And then I will cast Aristic Study. Crack my Polluted Delta, losing a life. I got a Swamp, and then I will pass the turn. Untap, Gaze Will, going off. So yes. <laughs> That means that for this turn, I have access to Tibalt uh, Trickery and Red Elemental Blast. Yes. Yeah. One you're paying us for my Aristic study. Yeah. I think I let you have it. I am going to now do Clothis's thing, and I'm going to get rid of a land. So, Carlos, I'm going to get rid of your Verdant Catacomb. Garcia. Create a green with Clothis. Cast Wild Growth. Hang one? No. I'll tap. This This will create three mana, so I'll have one green floating afterwards because I'm going to use a red from it and a green. Mana to cast Tybalt's Trickery on Wild Growth. Are you going to pay the one on Trickery? No. I'll roll it and we'll divide by two to get the Tybalt Trickery number. All right, so I rolled a four. So I need to mill two cards. Then I exile cards from the top of the library until I exile a non-land card with a different name. Interesting. So Zealous Conscripts comes out. That's the card. This is done. Trigger. Pay the one on Conscripts. I will not. I think I'm going to take Moldiah. So this will be my Moldiah for the turn. Reveal the top card of my library. It is a land. Put it into play. Yay, Gingerbread Cabin. Cha -ching. Reveal the top card again. It's Gamble. Clothis is a creature in this minute. I'll go to attack phase. I'll swing Moldaya at Jason. Block with my 6-6. Six, six. Second main phase. I still have Red Elemental Blast I can cast for the turn. And I will, and I'm going to blow up. I think Animar for sure. I'm going to blow up Animar. I will dispel. Are you paying the one on your red elemental blast? I'll pay it. John, are you going to pay the one? Oh. I'm going to tap a black and cast a vampiric tutor. Get that card, and it's going to go on top of my library, and I lose two life. Dispel does resolve. So red elemental blast is gone. That I will pass the turn. End of turn. Bounce a land and discard a land. Draw a card. Draw for turn. I get one colorless from my counterspell. Turn. Oh, oh yeah, for Mana Drain. That was like 10 years ago. Sad, sad Mana Drain. Okay, so I use the one colorless. I have six. Cast Kadama. Would you like to pay one? Okay. A forest. It's Kadama trigger on the stack. Put two into my mana pool. Bounce the guy's cradle. Put it into play. One mana out of that exchange. Five. Play Storm Cauldron. What does this do? You can play an extra land each turn, and whenever you tap a land for mana, you have to return that land to your hand. Are you going to pay the one? Um, do it. Tap out, Carlos. Yeah, I'll tap. Take a damage. Kadama trigger. I'll put the this command tower into play with the Kadama trigger. Then I will pay a mana to earn his cradle to my hand. I'll play an extra land for the land but, return. But you still have to return a command tower to your hand too. Play his land return. Trigger Kadama. Zero tapping out. I am hell bent. I'll pass. Draw. Yeah, I'm gonna pay a green and cast Glimpse of Nature. Would you like to pay one? No. Okay. Fantastic. Well, before that, with that on the st it doesn't won't really matter, but I want my priority. I'm going to tap Gaze Cradle for two mana and bounce mm -hmm. it to my hand. You have two green. Draw my card. Glimpse Resolve. So I have a Glimpse Emblem for this turn. Now, what does that say whenever you play a creature? S creature, draw a card. These will both get returned to my hand and I will cast a Morph. Would you like to pay one? No. I'm going to put a counter on Animar and draw a card. And I'm going to bounce birds. And trigger Kadama. Going to put my volcanic island back into play. Yeah, you can't um, burgeoning off of that. So I'm going to float a red, bounce this, drop Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, red and green floating. And cast birds. Would you like to pay one? No. Trigger on Animar. Draw a card. You can be able to draw your whole deck, right? No, it works because when birds enters the battlefield, I get to replay my green source for free. Off of Kadama. Yeah, yeah. 
Because you can bounce up a storm cauldron, so it's in your hand again. I think that's true. Carlos, yep. you're a monster. He just played my deck better than me, is all. Bounce my morph to Cloudstone Curio. Um, recast, not paying one, drawing a card. And then it enters the battlefield. I will put a land into play with Kadama. Yeah. I'm actually going to crack it now. Do a forest. Okay, so morph. So bounce birds. I'll tap this for green to play bird. Not paying one, draw. Enters the battlefield, I will Kadama. If this returns, I will play it off of the Kadama trigger and I will Klaus and Kira back in my morph. Then we'll go morph, eight, draw, Jason draw. I'll get a Caverns, bounce birds, as birds, draw, Jason draw, bounce morph, replay land off of Kadama. Morph, counter, draw, Jason draw. Enters the battlefield, I will Another land and bounce birds. Birds, counter, draw, Jason, draw, bounce, morph. Oh, so this returns to my hand and then I'll play it off of the Kadama trigger. So now I'm actually going to pay one for Lotus Cobra. Now I'll pay one. Now I'm going to, oh, and I counter Animar and draw a card. It's now you um, can pay the one with Lotus Cobra, right? Yeah. Tri yeah, trigger, I'll get a windswept teeth. All of that, guys. I drew almost all lands. So this gets bounced off of the tap. I'll also bounce birds, play land. Did I already play land off of Kadama trigger for Lotus Cobra? Probably not. There's that. Uh, cast morph, draw, and pay one. Sure. Bounce that land. Bounce the land, and then Kadama trigger off of a morph. I will just play a land. Mm -hmm. Okay, from here, I'm gonna pay Three. No, Bounce, I'm bounce three lands. Birthing pod. Uh, While that's on the stack, I'll try something, I guess. I will return a forest to my hand and discard it with two mana. Draw a card. Big money, no whammies. Tap this command tower, bounce it to my hand, use the mana to discard a trade routes. Draw a card. I think that's it. I'll crack a fetch. Land entering the battlefield to pay one for Jason. Okay, from here, I'll... You should get your dog side. I still have a billion food. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true. I gotta recast the birds. So bounce, cast birds. You get to put a, put a land in, draw a card. Yeah, so I'll draw first. Yeah, I'll pay one, Jay, and bounce this. And then triggers, bounce the morph, the land into play. And then I'll pay one, activate birthing pod, stacking birds. Dockside, infinite mana. Who would just get infinite food and not do anything with it? What a fool. Dockside, <laughs> infinite mana. You can also get infinite mana with Dockside, I think, by himself. Yeah, Dockside and carry up. Mm -hmm. Yep, super infinite mana. And I can draw my deck. And Wincon, thy name is... Walking Ballista. X a million. Cool. Dude. Pew, 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 pew. That's how the Kadama deck's supposed to work, you guys. You see? <laughs> oh my gosh, my head hurts so bad. If you learn anything from this game, remember that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. At least I never went hungry, right? I hope you enjoyed our game today. One of the best parts of CEDH is how it pushes and stretches you to get better. And you can see there's a lot of improvement for us uh, moving forward. One of the best ways to show us that you want us to keep doing this content is smashing the like button. And also, we'd love to have you as part of our crew, so come join us on Patreon. It's two bucks for our Ronin tier, and you get access to a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're going to have an awesome game night this month, so come check it out. Either way, thanks so much for watching, and keep it nerdy.